Hi everyone, here is Abdul and hope everyone is doing fine today. Today we have another unboxing, this time a Timex Iron Man. And this watch I got from Amazon, you know the drill, I got it to try before I buy. Most of the watches I returned, several of them I kept to, uh, and I paid full price for them. And even a strap. And here we go, we have the Iron Max Triathlon from Timex. Oh, the light is nice. So, I have to cut it. So, I just have to get maybe something to cut this watch with. Chrono, timer, alarm. Yeah. So, let me pause and come back to you. So, I got to the watch out of its packaging and to open this as well. Yeah. Oop. I think it's doing something. I think I have to cut this as well. And a good idea might be just using ingenuity to overcome this by just taking off this and voila. Now we don't need to cut it anymore. So now the watch feels actually quite good. The feeling in the hand. And a lot of you know what I mean by like you try something and it feels just good in the hand. And you know oh, I have a good feeling about this. So let's see the options that we have. We have the time, the day, so you have the month, the year. Uh, I don't, you don't see the year here, but at least see the month's day and date. You have a chronograph where I think you can start. Hold to reset and you just start. Thank you. Start like this. Yeah. Ah, yeah, that's this is a better start button than this one. But actually, this is the conventional one. So you stop and you reset by holding. You have a mode chrono timer, so you can start the timer, you can set it for one second, and you can see it. It has the indigo light, which simultaneously went the beep. Here it's different than the Casio, when you always press mode, you go back to the main menu, and then you go through the sequence again and then you get alarm you have only one alarm where you can set and then chroma timer alarm and then it's back and of course you have the famous indigo light which is pretty good um wearing this laurels from seiko it's actually not bad at all not a bad watch for the price and be sure to check out my uh, unboxing and first impressions. I don't think I'll be making a review video. The only thing I don't like, like I said before in the video, is that the crown is so recessed. It's very hard to get if you uh, don't have nails. And I think it's a waterproofing technique that makes the water the, the watch more waterproof as it's 100 meters without a screw down crown. But at the same time, it's just for user experience, not the best. By the way, I have a 17.1 centimeter wrist, so you can see here I'm almost, I used, I like to wear also the watch is very tight on the wrist. I almost use all the holes on the strap, and here you can see it from the side, from here. I give you also the dimensions of the watch. One thing to, to mention as well. Uh, is this is metal and that the end of the strap has a hole which coincides with a flap plastic flap inside the strap holder so it holds really well on the back end you can see Iron Max Iron Man Timex water resistant 200 meters stainless steel the code of the battery Timex website. So let's get the caliper and check the dimensions of the watch. So the watch is side to side 40 millimeters and 
lug to lug is 50 millimeters so it's 40 in diameter 50 lug to lug the strap which i don't think you will change is 26 as you can see it has a weird case strap construction you can even take off the strap just to look at the construction and how it looks So you have a smaller strap which is almost let's say 18 millimeters from just experience yep 18 and you have an outer part which is then this part on both sides and it gives you this constructed look because it meshes inside the case a part of it meshes inside the case and i think that's more or less also for security of the watch on your wrist that the spring bar is recessed and that the lugs are very big and yeah i think it's a great alternative for g-shocks if you want something more um, yeah oriented towards running and a bit left field because a lot of people believe it or not don't like g-shocks i love g-shocks but a lot of people don't so this would be a good option for people who want something different especially with a night light nice light as well so thanks again for watching if you do like this kind of content please do leave a like also subscribe it does help the channel and you'll find two videos on the left and on the right that you might enjoy so be sure to check them out have a great one. Bye-bye.